Okay, welcome back to this new video. Once again, I'm Mr. Davis, one of the eighth grade math teachers. We're doing dealing with slope today, and specifically how to find slope and how to write the equations of the slope. So first, we're going to find slope given two points. Suppose I have a linear equation, a line that involves the points 1, comma, negative 3, and 7, comma, 2. All right, so for this kind of problem, we are going to find the slope between these two points. There are a few methods to do this type of problem. One method we did last time, the previous video, of, and the delta math assignment, is that you had to find the, you graph the line, found, graph the two points, then made the line, then count the slope triangle to find the slope. Alternatively, you can also just subtract because the rise is the difference in the y values, the run is the difference in the x values. And remember, slope is rise over run. So m, lowercase m is mathematics for slope, is the mathematical symbol for slope. It's not entirely sure why, but we use it. Some of my students find it amusing to think of m for mountain. Mountains have slopes. Whatever. It's not actually why it's called slope. It's not entirely known why. Anyways, the rise comes from subtracting the y values. So I'm going to do this way to this way right now. You could also go the other way. It doesn't actually matter. 2 minus negative 3. And then the run is the difference in the x values. I'm going to do 7 minus 1. 2 minus negative 3 is 5. 7 minus 1 is 6. Ta-da! That's your slope, 5 over 6. Now, one thing that might come up when you're doing your problems is that if you did it one way, you would get, like, if you did it the other way, you would do negative 3 minus 2 and 1 minus 7 if you did it left to right. This still works, it just that means you have to simplify it there. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. 1 minus 7 is negative 6. That simplifies to just 5 over 6 because negative divided by negative is positive. Now, if you end up with a fraction that's not simplified, you're going to have to simplify it in the answer, such as 2 4 simplifies to 1 half. Okay. So that is how you find the slope between two points with subtraction. Our next problem is we're going to figure out, given a slope and a point, how to find the equation of the line. We did something similar in the previous video once again based off of graphing, but now we're going to do some more algebraic methods. So suppose you know a line goes through 6 comma 5 with a slope of 4 thirds. Okay, so remember, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Now, if you listen to the last video closely, I said y and x represent infinite points. And that's true, but in this case, we're going to solve it solve for b using just one point, the point they gave us, 6 comma 5. This is an x value, this is a y value. So I'm going to plug the x and y value in and the slope in to solve for b and then make it more general. y is 5, m is 4 thirds, x is 6, and we don't know b yet, but we'll find out. Sorry. All right, 4 thirds times 6. I just crossed out 3 for no apparent reason, but doesn't matter because 4 thirds times 6 is equal to 8. And we still have the plus b to solve for b. Subtract 8, just like you would for any other equation. b equals negative 3. We solved for b, but that wasn't actually my answer. The question was, what is the equation of the line? So. The equation of the line is usually in the form y equals mx plus b, so y equals m, which is 4 thirds, x plus b minus 3. That is your equation. 
all that stuff is a process, but this is the actual equation which we can now graph and you can check your answers too. If you graph this, it would go through this point with that slope, just like we did last time when we were graphing. Alright, so that's how you find the equation given a point and the slope. And we found the slope given two points. Now we're going to combine those two methods, the two things we just did together, in order to write the equation given two points. Not that difficult. We can do it. Also, because your eighth grade math teacher has shown you this multiple times, I'm sure. Okay, we have, in this case, one comma negative seven and negative four comma eight. These are our lovely two points. To do this, first we're going to find the slope. So our slope is equal to 8 minus negative 7 over negative 4 minus 1. That gives 8 minus negative 7 is 15. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. That simplifies to negative 3. The slope is negative 3. Now to write the equation of the line, we're going to do the same method we just did because now we need a point, it doesn't matter which point you pick, and a slope, we have a slope. So I'm just going to pick the first one because why not? So remember y equals mx plus b, y is negative 7, m is negative 3, we just solved for that, x is 1. Now we're solving for b. Okay, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Add 3 to both sides. That's a terrible 3, but you get the idea. b equals negative 4. Now, once again, y equals mx plus b. We've solved for m. We've solved for b. So let's put it together and write our equation y equals negative 3x minus 4 and that is the answer you would put into your uh, put into delta math in order to say ta-da I did it keep in mind it doesn't matter which point you would have picked up here either one would have worked just fine okay and there is one other type of problem you may be doing on your assignment which is find the equation given a table So I'm going to create a lovely table for us. An XY table. Sometimes tables are vertical, sometimes are horizontal. It doesn't actually matter. 0 comma negative 6 and 1 comma negative 2. 2 comma 2. Okay, to do this, it's once again, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. If you have x equals 0 on the table, this problem be this becomes easier. If not, it's still doable, just slightly more tricky, but not by much. So, we need to find the y-intercept, which is when the y, which is the y value when x equals 0. Which turns out the y-intercept here is simply negative 6, because it's when x equals 0. Once again, this is your beginning value on the graph, where you start on the y-axis. Now we need to find the slope from this table. Pick any two points. It's just easy to go in order to me. The x goes from 0 to 1. That increases by 1. Negative 6 to negative 2 goes up by 4. Remember, slope is rise over run, difference in y, which is 4. Difference in x, which is 1, 4 over 1, which is simply 4. Your answer becomes y equals 4x minus 6. You could have picked any two numbers to find the slope from in there. It doesn't matter. You might have to simplify at the end, but that's okay. Your math petitions, we can do it. No problem. Once again, this is 
review, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact your teachers or me, Mr. Davis. I am, once again, Richard.Davis at slcschools.org. We can do this. Relax. This is doable. Thank you.